Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a look at something for you Windows people. Yes, yes, the point and click crowd, the download dot .exes, click them and run lots of things. It's This is for you. This is for you. It does all sorts of things. You can do deep days, big sleep, other things with clip and just a whole handful of other things. You will see when you get to have a look at the little menu in a minute just exactly how many things there are. There are lots of things, too many things to mention here. Okay, so I am, as almost always, going to be using Anaconda. So you want to download a couple of things to start with here, and uh, I've got the links down in the description, so, so don't worry, don't worry. So you've got Visions of Chaos and Anaconda. So you want to download that, click here to download Visions of Chaos. That'll give you a little XE, you double click on that. And then Anaconda, of course, you want the personal edition, individual edition there. Click on download, download that. I'm on Windows, so I'm going to grab the 64-bit graphical installer. Again, it's just an XE, so you double-click and install that wherever you want it to. Excellent stuff, excellent stuff. So now we've got this little link down here, the machine learning support bit. So if you want to use machine learning-related modes, you'll need to perform some extra steps. And yes... Those are the extra steps that we're going to do now. Okay, so there's a slight change to the uh, the documentation that I'm going to be doing here. Now they're installing uh, Python there in Visual Studio Community Edition. I'm going to be completely ignoring that uh, because of Anaconda. Excellent. Right, so let's completely skip all that. And we are on to the update your Python packages. Excellent. So um, you want to start your Anaconda prompt. Um, or you can start the Anaconda PowerShell prompt as well. I've just got the, the normal prompt there. If, you, if you've installed Anaconda and you type Anaconda in, you should see it come up with some things. Anaconda prompt. Uh, that's, that's the one I'm using there. There's a, there's a PowerShell prompt as well. If I continue typing, there it is. Anaconda PowerShell prompt. So either of those will do. I'm just using the, the standard the standard one there. Now, I've already created my environment, but... Uh, you would conda create minus minus name, whatever you want to call it. I have called it Vok for Visions of Chaos, and I am using Python 3.9. So let's conda activate Vok. There we go. I've activated my new virtual environment for Visions of Chaos. There it is. Excellent. Now, a couple of things uh, here. There's, there's two ways to, to do this, depending on how much you want to do. If, if you're really, 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 really scared of installing, uh, you know, things like CUDA and CUDNN and, and all that sort of stuff, um, then you can do the Conda install of PyTorch, TorchVision and CUDA Toolkit, and that will install everything for you. And then you can use all the PyTorch stuff, not the TensorFlow stuff, in the uh, in the machine learning menu. Um, you can still use a little bit of the uh, TensorFlow machine learning stuff, the things that use the CPU, um, but uh, not not the CUDA stuff, not the CUDA stuff. So the, the, the easy, easy, easy version there is Conda install PyTorch, TorchVision, Torch Audio, CUDA Toolkit, PyTorch, uh, and NVIDIA channels used there. If you want to uh, go over to the PyTorch website to see all the different variants, there it has it. So you want to start locally. Torch build, I'm using stable 1.81, OS, Windows, package, Conda, language, Python, CUDA 11.1, because I'm on an RTX 30 series card. And there's there's the, the thing you can just copy and paste. Now, if you want to do it the full way, we will uh, be doing the, the pip install. So there's the pip install of Torch and Torch Audio and Torch Vision and all that sort of stuff. Excellent stuff. Right, so there you go. Quick and easy one. If you only want to use PyTorch, you can kind of install that. But if you want to do the full thing, so you can use all the machine learning things in Visions of Chaos, then I'm afraid you will have to install the CUDA toolkit and CUDNN. So there we go, CUDNN, download. You download that. Library for Windows, Linux, and Ubuntu, and you will want to click the one there. There, library for Windows, download that, and that is a zip file. You'll see that as a zip file. Okay, so download and save that. And then you've got the uh, CUDA toolkit. I'm using 11.3. This one seems to work quite nicely. And operating system, I'm using Windows. Architecture x86-64, I am using Windows 10. The installer type is an XE. You click that, download it. It's 2.7 gig. I have already downloaded and installed that. It takes some time. Um, so yes, that's that's quite a big download. But once you have uh, once you've downloaded and installed that, then you unzip that the CUDNN into the directory that that installed everything into. 
which is down here. So for me, it was C program files, NVIDIA GPU computing toolkit, CUDA version 11.3. And there you see you copy the uh, CUDA bin, everything from there, all the DLLs into that directory. So that, that gets you the CUDA toolkit and CUDNN installed. And of course, it being Windows, you will then have to reboot. Excellent stuff, right? So once you've rebooted, then uh, you will want to uh, get around to installing all of these packages, all of these packages there. So uh, you can just copy and paste that in and, and do all those uh, all those pip installs like that. Uh, but what I did was uh, I just put everything into a requirements.txt file and then the, uh, you've already guessed it, the standard pip install minus r requirements.txt. So that's just all the uh, all the packages from there with the with the version numbers taken out for super super easy install uh, that won't work in the future but it works as of right now and uh, this just came out the other day so yeah that that works fine that all works fine excellent right so you've got you've, you've had anaconda installed you've installed visions of chaos uh, you've installed uh, either just pytorch by itself or pytorch with um the uh, NVIDIA CUDA toolkit and TensorFlow, so you've installed everything, and uh, now you are ready to start. So I installed uh, chaos.exe into D program files, x86 visions of chaos. So let's just hope that this copies and pastes all right on Windows. There we go. Excellent stuff. So let's just start chaos.exe. There we go. There we go. We are starting visions of chaos. Now, um, obviously, you will uh, maybe not want to do that every time, um, and you you might want to have a little icon on your desktop to uh, to start that. So you can you could do that. You can do that. So there I've got this visions launcher dot bat, which basically just activates the Condor environment and then launches visions of chaos. So you can put that as an icon on your desktop if you don't want to uh, Condor activate VOC and then start chaos manually each time anyway right there we go so we are almost there we are almost there let's go back to our instructions now once you've installed all these there is a little bit more to do so you need to enable machine learning so back over in visions of chaos in options options you'll see machine learning and then you can click check and enable machine learning modes and that will go through and that will check tensorflow now, if you've installed TensorFlow without GPU support, so you haven't installed the CUDA toolkit and CU DNN, uh, then some things will still work. Some things will still work because uh, TensorFlow will work in CPU mode. So you can still do things like the um, GPT-2 uh, text generation, for example. So anyway, right, once that is enabled, mode, as you can see, it has got a lot of different modes. Remember I was saying there's lots of things in there? strange attractors, simulations, reaction diffusions, plotting, pendulums, but yeah, anyway, we're, we're focusing on the machine learning bit here. So there you've got the PyTorch. So if you just did the Condor install, then you can do all those things there. The Deep Dream, Style Transfer, StyleGAN2, ADA, Super Resolution, and Text to Image. Ooh, I know, right? So let's have a quick look at the text to image first, shall we? There you go, text to image. So quite simple. Um, so you can't do a lot of the things that you can do if you're running it from the command line. You can't pass in all the options and you can't change any of the hyperparameters hyper or anything like that. Um, but uh, yes, it has been enabled. Thank you. Um, but you can put an input phrase and you can change the iterations. Oh, okay. So there we go. So we've got a number of uh, methods there. So you've got big sleep, uh, deep days, uh, clip glass. Now that one didn't seem to work because you needed to install clip, um, and that wasn't included in the uh, the requirements. And the normal clip from OpenAI uh, needs PyTorch 1.7.1. So I haven't actually got that one working yet. I haven't tested that one at all. Uh, but the other two do work. The VQ GAN plus clip and the uh, VQ GAN plus clip codebook as well. So there you go, you get a, a little selection of things to go through. So for example, I could go for the uh, the deep days there and I could have an input phrase of uh, turn my text into an image that is a work of art. There we go. Iterations 500, generate, and there it will start doing its thing 
that will take of course several minutes <laughs> and uh let's let's just modify time shall we let's modify time while that does its thing and there we go awesome so only 500 iterations on this uh, as mentioned, you can't change epochs or anything like that. But there you go. There you go. You've got a deep day's image. Excellent. Excellent. So let's close that one down and we'll just quickly show you some of the other ones in here. Where are we? Machine learning, PyTorch. So you've got a deep dream. Uh, the first time you open any of these, actually, it will download a variety of models for you as well. So deep dream is good. So there you can do visions of chaos current image or you can select random noise or pick your own file and, you know, select a selection of random layers in their process. That will give you a, a deep dream image. So those are great fun as well. Machine learning, PyTorch, style transfer again. So if you want to do style transfer, style one, style two, there you go. Select your image, do the style transfer. Very nice, very nice. And uh, we've got machine learning, PyTorch, StyleGAN2 ADA as well. So for all you StyleGAN2 ADA fans there, Select your source images directory, your data set, your models, if you want to resume from a, uh, a previous pickle. And then you can click create data set, that'll create the data set. And then train model, that'll go through and train the model. Excellent. And uh, you can even generate a few images as well there. For example, I've got a dogs and cats real NVIDIA. If you want to click generate image, there you go. It'll, it'll, it'll go through and, and generate an image. Let's, uh, let's just cancel that for now because I don't actually care to create one. There you go. So mode, machine learning, PyTorch, and you've got super resolution as well. So you can uh, you can upscale things, a variety of different algorithms available. So that's that's very nice as well. And uh, just lastly, the, the most fun thing that I like as well, <laughs> of course, is the, uh, the GPT-2 text generator. Now, this will work um, if you haven't installed the GPU support for TensorFlow as well because um, this runs with the CPU, it'll take a couple of minutes. Uh, but there you go as well, you can type in your text prompt, text prompts there, there even, and uh, get it to uh, generate some text. So uh, let's say, uh, oh, I don't know, um, I like generating text because, and then this this will take quite some time, but we can uh, generate text from prompt, and again, that will download one of those models if you haven't got it already. Um, it'll also give a couple of errors there, but uh, it'll it'll come out eventually. It will work. It will work. And there we go. It has generated some text. I like generating text because, among other things, having a bunch of tiny little symbols on the page helps me remember the context of a page. Yes. Yes, a page with lots of tiny little symbols. Hmm. Okay. Great. Yes. Anyway, so one of the other most important things is up in options, directories. So there are data files, palette files, script files, shader files, and images. So if ever your uh, your images don't seem to pop out, cause as it happens sometimes when you're uh, running there, then uh, they will all be saved in uh, wherever you set the images directory to. So I'll have a quick pop over there. There we go. Whoops. So there we have that little image that was generated earlier. There we go. So that, that will save all your images there automatically. Now, the other thing you may want to do, um, given the, uh, the the limited nature of, of the GUI, uh, is change some of the bits and pieces in there. Now, you can do that uh, in here. I'm have a little scroll down. So um, in, uh, well, it'll be wherever your roaming profile is. So in, in my particular case, it's uh, D user data roaming, visions of chaos, examples, machine learning. And uh, if you have a look in there, it'll have text to image deep days and you'll see all the standard deep days files, which you can then edit, change the defaults, all that sort of thing. So things that aren't in the GUI, you can still modify, uh, but it does mean digging in, finding the code, changing it manually. Mm, so uh, yeah, yeah, kind of against the, uh, the whole thing of doing it with a GUI. But if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could do that. So there you go. Absolutely loads of things to install, all sorts of things going on in there as well. You might want to have a play with. But uh, yeah, just for now, that's the machine learning, PyTorch and TensorFlow, Deep Dream, GPT-2, Style Transfer, StyleGAN2 ADA, Super Resolution and Text to Image, all in a single application.